Jonathan Sarn, an instructor at NHIA. I teach uh, illustration and painting. Um, I was going to show a process that I do in my own studio, and I came up with this process uh, because I'm concerned about the environment, I'm concerned about health and safety, and um, also recycling is a big issue. So I use Gansol, they're OMS. I use it to clean my brushes, I use it to clean my palette, I clean the studio, and also use it to mix in with my mediums. Now when I clean my brushes, I typically have a can, and I clean the brush out, and the sediment, of course, settles to the bottom. This is uh, some that I took out of the can. And I have all this nice, clean uh, OMS here, and I have this paint pigment or paint sludge at the bottom. So what I do is pour off the clean. me with nice sludge at the bottom. Now what I do is I decide I can reuse this. It's a beautiful color. It's a beautiful gray color. It can be used for doing sketches or demos. I just think it makes a, the most beautiful neutral color. And what I'll do is I'll simply take this out on a piece of glass and I usually let it dry and let most of the solvent evaporate from it. Um, but for purposes of this, we'll just get right into it. And what I do is I mix a little bit of refined linseed oil back into the mixture. And again, it's a little soupy because we still have that solvent in there. Like I said, I usually let that evaporate off a little bit. And I start grinding away at this pigment, the circular motion. And if I want it to be really smooth, I grind a lot and a little bit less coarse. I don't grind so much. And I'll generally do this for a while, and I do it with a pretty big batch as well. For the purposes of this, I'm just using a small amount. For those of you who don't know, I believe this is called a, a Mueller? Mueller. Mueller. Thank you very much, Scott. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. And what I've done is I've made oil paint. And I'll spend quite a bit of time getting it up. And I haven't wasted anything. And what I'll do is I'll take a tube, take a little bit of time, and I'll slowly but surely get every bit of this paint up. And I'll retube it. Like I said, this is a little bit sloppy. And I'll fill the tube up. I usually do this when I have a full amount of this. I'll make an entire tube. Get the air out of it. And I would crimp this and make a tube of paint. And here I have a tube of paint that I made about a month ago. And I made it to the consistency that I like. And tell me that's not a beautiful gray. And when I work with that, I wash my brushes off in here again. And I throw 0% of gams all away. I don't throw any of my pigment away. It gets recycled. It doesn't go into the environment. And I've got a clean, healthy studio. And I think it's about as green as it can be.